Hi folks, uh, just a very quick video about breathing uh, because obviously it's one of the things that people are talking about an awful lot um, with coronavirus going on. Um, and it's also a thing that I'm seeing in a lot of the people I'm, I'm treating online. Um, so let's go back to the beginning. We've got two real modes of operation in our bodies. We can be in um, sort of fight or flight, which is where our sympathetic nervous system is really upregulated and everything's, you know, crazy and wired. Or we can go into rest and digest mode, which is the parasympathetic nervous system taking over. Um, now, we developed the sort of whole fight or flight mechanism um, to respond to big acute stressors like being chased by a saber-toothed tiger down the street, that sort of thing. Um, and it's designed to cope with um, acute sudden stressors that come on quickly and go away quickly. So we get an adrenaline spike and then the, the, the spike drops and we go back into rest and digest. And that's, that's fantastic when there's um, saber-toothed tigers around to, to run away from, but we don't have many of those anymore. Um, but what we do have at the moment is one giant constant stressor, and that is the whole coronavirus situation. So a lot of us are spending our entire lives at the moment in fight or flight, as though we're constantly being tracked by a tiger, and we're never really dropping down back into rest and digest. As a result, what I'm seeing with people um, who I'm seeing online is that I'm seeing a lot of mouth breathing. Um, when you mouth breathe, you take a lot more air in, so you breathe faster, your heart rate goes up, you have more adrenaline in your system, you tend to breathe from your shoulders much more, so I see people breathing like this, and it's a lot more stressful. When you breathe from the diaphragm, um, you it's much easier to get the, the oxygen into your system, and it's everything's just slower and calmer. Um, the other thing about being in fight or flight the whole time is that it really doesn't help um, because you're much more sensitive to pain um, when you're in fight and flight and it really doesn't help when you know the, the best thing that you can do with your body is, is to relax at that point. So we need a strategy to get out of fight or flight and into rest and digest so that we can reduce the heart rate, reduce the adrenaline, reduce the muscle stiffness that goes on with it all and, and relax more easily and this is really important. Thank you, Feta, my dog's uh, whinging, to help us uh, sleep and recover and, and, and move better. So the first thing I'd like you to think about is, is breathing through the nose. So if you just start to breathe through the nose for a few minutes here, shush, the air that you breathe through your nose is warmer, so it's a bit easier on the airways. There's also a bit more resistance than there is if you're breathing through your mouth, so it slows down your breathing rate, slows down your heart rate and reduces your stress levels. So the first thing I want you to do is just put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, just behind your two front teeth. Uh -huh. And then just let your jaw, uh, so shut your lips, just let your jaw be open slightly behind, behind your, your lips. And that should really be the resting position for your tongue whenever you're not talking and, and not eating, obviously. It stops you clenching your teeth and it keeps your airway open. So I just want you to take a few breaths like that right now, through the nose, tongue just up in the palate behind the teeth. And that's great. And now I want you to make it even more efficient because the most efficient breathing is very quiet and gentle. So now just focus on a few breaths on trying to breathe as quietly and as slowly and smoothly as possible. And if you shut your eyes, you'll feel that automatically your diaphragm is starting to move better. And what should happen when you breathe in is that your diaphragm, so if your diaphragm is, is like a, a dome like this, just at the bottom of your lungs, as you breathe in, your diaphragm flattens. That pushes your stomach contents down. It makes your pelvic floor come down as well. And then when you breathe out, the, the, um, the diaphragm comes back up. That allows the stomach contents to come back up and the pelvic floor comes up. So it's very much this sort of thing that goes on as you breathe. So this time, I want you to just shut your eyes and just as you breathe in, think about everything dropping and your stomach will push out a bit. And then as you breathe in again, everything will lift. And as you breathe in, everything will drop. And you breathe out and everything will lift. So if you just shut your eyes and start to feel that, then your body will automatically move more into rest and digest. And then tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about that in different positions.